Hi, I'm Laurie at Gear for Music. And I'm Adam from Gear for Music. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at three fantastic electronic drum kits from Alesis. All these drums come in at different price points, so whether you're a beginner, an intermediate, or looking for a real professional drum kit, we're going to check them out and see which has the best features for you. First up, it's the Alesis Turbo Mesh. <laughs> So, Laurie, you've had access to the Elise's Turbo Mesh for a little bit now. What are your first initial impressions on it? I really like it. I mean, if I was starting to play drums, I'd be really impressed with a kit like this. I like the size of it, I like the module, I like the mesh pads, and I like the overall feel of it. Um, it's brilliant. Yeah, totally. So, I mean, let's get the boring out of the way. Let's run through a quick spec. So, a really sturdy one and a half inch steel tube rack kind of like industry standard, something sturdy so you're not going to feel vibrations through the floor if you're like me and live in a flat, kind of really handy to have. <laughs> All of these are mesh pads, as you can see around the uh, plastic casing, tunable mesh pads, which in a second we'll go on to how important that is, and you've got your module over there, but kind of like, as you say, talking about the hardware, how important is it to have tunable mesh pads? Very important. Um, yeah, so in the real world, I'd be playing, you know, some toms here, floor toms, snare, and they have different tensions and different feels. Yeah. So, and I can actually do this with it, I can replicate this with an acoustic drum key. I can tune my snare drum very high so it's very bouncy, as it mm -hmm. would be, but then I can slacken off my floor tom, uh, so make it so I have to work a little bit hard to get that yeah. bounce, just like an acoustic kit would. Yeah, which is great. And I mean, you know, just touching on the cymbal pads as well. You know, they've got a bit of plastic to them, so the feel is, you know, you've got your responsive feel. Yeah, they've got this nice rubber coating, so they're not too loud, but they do give me the response that I would get from a, a cymbal, so they're nice and bouncy. Yeah. Uh, and that's for the hi-hat, the crash, and the ride. Yeah, without a doubt. And, you know, as you, as you kind of mentioned, they're not loud. None of this kit is <laughs> acoustically loud, which is great if you know, if you're someone beginner, you don't want to, you kind of want to put them in the corner, make sure it's quiet, you know, you're avoiding an acoustic kit at the beginning for a reason. <laughs> That's because of how loud it is. Uh, you know, so having it to be, you know, acoustically quiet whilst getting some really good sounds from the module, really fantastic starter point for anyone really. Yeah, that's a very powerful part of electric kits. I mean, as you, as you say, not everyone wants to go ham straight away and play really <laughs> loud. So, you know, if someone's a little bit more self-conscious, they can tuck away in the corner and play along to themselves with headphones. Mm. Um, but then as well, if I want to go really loud, yeah. and I want to rock the house, I'm not going to rock the house. I'm not going to shake the <laughs> foundations of the building because it's a lot quieter. Yeah, yeah, totally. And, you know, obviously an electric kit needs a good module to go with it. And you can be rocking the house in your headphones with the module. Um, it's quite a simple module which is really good for someone, because obviously this is targeted beginners, it can be for anybody. Um, but if you're starting to play drums, you don't want to be overwhelmed with a million options. I mean, that's why we're looking at the kits later, because of all the expandability and you know options you got there. Um, but go on a quick rundown of this as well. <laughs> uh, you've got 10 kits that come in there, ranging from different genres. So you've got your standard rock, you know, you've got your jazz, but then you've got cool little things like some electronic sounds and some world sounds in there as well. Um, so if you're just starting out, you've got access to some really fun sounds, which is really great. Instead of just doing your four to the floor, you can do some really cool rudiments on something like world sound. Yeah, it keeps, keeps you inspired. It keeps you um, wanting to play uh, using, as you say, rock grooves, but on an electric kit. It's yeah. pretty cool. Or yeah. using like a, an Afro-Cuban or a Mozambique pattern on a standard acoustic jazz kit is quite cool and interesting. <laughs> Um, but yeah, not, not too much in there to get overwhelmed with, but you can move the sounds to different pads, so 10 kits is actually quite a lot to be going on with, but not too much that's overwhelming, I'd say. Yeah, totally. And, you know, as mentioned, kind of aimed towards beginners, so not only do you have these cool sounds in there, but you've also got different coaching methods as well. Um, so you have 60 songs that come built into it, which you can play along to, you can remove the drums, so, you know, as you're learning, you want to hear the context, you want to hear what you're actually playing. Um, mute the drums, great little learning tool. Uh, a metronome, and then you've also got a scoring system on there as well. Yeah, they're a lot of fun, the backing tracks, the, the songs on there. Once I've taken the drums out, I'm presented with loads of different genres to uh, put my beats in a real world scenario. But of course, yeah, the, the coaching function, not only for a beginner, so I can, you know, see where I'm at and there's some patterns and some checks I could play along with, but, uh, even a more advanced player needs to practice with yeah. the metronome. Oh, gotcha. So, to be told you're to be told you're too slow or too fast, 
Hey, you need to yeah. hear it sometimes. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you need to hear it. <laughs> We've all been in a pub on a Saturday night and heard a drummer that's, <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely oh. going for it, you know, or just kind of you see the singer turning around going, what's going on, yeah. you know, <laughs> stuff like that. But you know what he would do with? 63 melodic lessons that come Absolutely. with it. <laughs> so Elise's, all Elise's kits come with 63 melodic lessons. Uh, it used to be 40, but it was so popular that they were like, you know what, here's an extra 20, which is great. Um, you've got a USB output on the back. You can just connect that to your laptop and download melodics. And you've got 63 lessons there accessible at any time. So you don't have to be constricted by um, a drum teacher's kind of like, Oh, I've only got time at 2 p.m. on a Wednesday. You know, you're working. You can't. You can't access that. But you know, melodics. You know, for anyone that's working is kind of like ideal. And anyone really. Yeah, it's great. I mean, they're not just beginner lessons as well. They go mm. to quite a high level. So you know, even if you're an intermediate player, you definitely benefit from that as well. Not only can you use the USB for recording with a DAW, you know, which is really beneficial for players of all levels. Yeah, totally. And I mean, as you know, we're kind of talking about how it's, you know, great for a beginner and stuff, but this is ideal for anyone that really plays the drums. Um, you know, if you want a small kit, you've not got much room, you can use it as, you know, MIDI, MIDI control if you want, you know, hook it up to like BFD or Superior or, you know, Tune Track or something like that. You know, it's a really great electric kit for sub 300 pounds. Um, however, let's look at some more expensive kits Let's and jump up <laughs> to some bigger boys, eh? <laughs> Immediately, we've got a bigger kit out. This is the Elisa's Crimson Mesh 2 Special Edition. Nine-piece kit configuration. You've got a 12-inch snare, freestanding snare, might I add, which comes with the snare stand in the box. You've got two 8-inch rack toms. You've got a 10-inch floor tom, a freestanding kick, two crashes, and a triple zone ride, and a high hat, of course. So, immediate first impressions, please. Yeah. I feel really at home behind this kit. It feels much more like an acoustic kit in its yeah. sizes. Love the snare drum, love its size, um, not only for you know its look and you know feel underneath mm. the sticks, but with the snare drum stand, I can tilt it if I wanted to. And it feels a lot like my acoustic snare. Um, the pads, the bigger floor tom, as well as these two um, toms here, the dual zone, uh, which means I can not only have rim sounds on the sides, but I can assign any sound I want. I can have a yeah. tambourine, a cowbell, the percussion. Symbols are great. Got the hi hats, the chokeable crashes, and uh, as well as we got the triple zone ride symbol, which means I've got a bell. Very important when I'm playing ride symbols, but also a sound in the bow and at the edge, so I can use it as a crash as That's well. It. Triple um, B. Which probably mentioned the. Uh, the kick tower there. Yeah, the kick tower, obviously. So a kick pedal does not come with it. However, that allows you to use your own kick pedal. So you, you know, if you're getting a kit like this, we assume that you've kind of invested in, you know, a kit. So you've got some good hardware. And this will allow you to use that hardware on here. Even if you've got a double pedal, you know, the the um, the pad itself can fit two beaters on there. Um, so you've got the comfort of your own hardware on this, which, you know, Tell, you know, you'll be able to tell me about how important that is. Yeah, um, being able to use my own pedal means I can take it straight from my acoustic kit, and it's a pedal that I'm used to, and it's not going to—I'm not going to sacrifice any of the feel uh, because it's a mesh pad as well. But I can, you know, if I'm particularly comfortable with this or my technique is better on a particular pedal, <laughs> yeah. I can use it. Um, and yeah, the double pedal is great. There's enough room for both beaters, so it's not going to miss trigger or anything, yeah. or one's not going to be weaker than the other. Uh, and I can combine it with the rest of the full size kit, which yeah. is great. Yeah, hundred percent. And I mean, obviously, with the hardware upgrades, you do also get a better module with this. So, quick rundown of the module: comes with six hundred sounds. There are seventy kit slots on here. Fifty of those are occupied by pre-made kits. However, there are twenty free slots which you can build your own kits in. Another cool thing about this: not only can you build your own kits from the sounds in there, but you can import samples that are WAVs into there. So. For example, you've got a really cool Lud old Ludwig kit at home mm -hmm. that you spent ages sampling and you can't be bothered putting it in the car anymore. <laughs> You're sick of carrying around that 24 inch uh, you know, kick. It's just too heavy, it won't fit in the car. Sample it, upload it into there, bam, you've got it there. 
Yeah, that's really useful in a session particularly. I mean, <clears throat> I've got a, a Premier kit at home and I've sampled the snare drum and I love it, but it's a bit of an antique. I kind of want to keep it. I don't want to yeah. take it to sessions no more. I can export it as a WAV file, upload it up to the, uh, the module, and then um, I can use it on tracks in the studio, which is great. So I can combine the internal sounds with my own sounds as well to make a truly unique sounding kit. Yeah, 100%. And I think that's a really important feature as well is because obviously electric kits, you get what comes in it. So, you know, to a degree, you've got the same as everything else, but this allows you to make a kit that's totally unique to you, totally your sounds, and what you want in your head is in this portable kit. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, the internal sounds as well are really good. They sound great. Um, there's some really nice sounding percussion sounds, drum sounds in there. Uh, another feature I really like um, is the record function. It's really easy yeah. to use, and I can just play along to either some of the songs or just on my own. It'll instantly play back what I've recorded which is a really good way for me to hear what I'm sounding like and you know tweak anything that needs yeah, to change. Yeah, totally. Because as, as we mentioned before, you don't have to be getting into practice. Mm. You know, so <laughs> having having that's great. Um, but not only do you have the option to use this as just an electric kit, you've got USB out on the back, so you can use it as a MIDI. You've also got five pin MIDI in and out. So if you want to send it out to another drum machine that you've got, so if you have an Alesis SR18, uh, for example, you can send it out via that, via the pin MIDI. Um, and, you know, a really fun thing that you can actually do, because it's in and out, if you're playing a live session, you can have it on a track, and you can actually program the sounds to change per song. Right. Which, you know... Yeah, I can see a lot of scope for live live use for that. You know, if, we're, if you're playing keys, for example, and you're, you know, the band leader, you could actually change the parameters and uh, patches of my kit for each song, which is a pretty useful way to use MIDI. There's a bit of expandability on the back as well. I believe you can add an extra floor tom yeah. and an extra crash as well, uh, which you've got here. So we can yeah, expand the kit to be even bigger if we want to. Yeah, I mean, we'll look at the biggest electric kit that you can actually oh. buy in a second. But <laughs> you know, having that expandability is really good as well. You know, So if you really want to expand it, you, you don't really want to invest in something massive you know, space-wise, it doesn't take up too much space. You've got the really sturdy four-pole um, steel rack system for it. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space, so you can put it in practically anywhere. So having that extra Tom expansion really gives you, you know, more customize, uh, customization, you know, and really make it your own. Yeah, definitely. Um, expandability. And we've still got the same features of uh, previous kits, you know, headphone out, yep. separate output for an amplifier, and the mm -hmm. aux in for practicing with. Um, some really great connectivity in the module and the sort of layout and everything on it is really easy to use. It's really brightly lit and I can get it to everything easily. That combined mm -hmm. with all the pads that we've talked about. Yeah. Really like this kit. Yeah. And aesthetically looks great yeah. with the white pin <laughs> you know, on the top on as well. So yeah. So let's go on to the next kit, which is even bigger and somehow even brighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you're currently sat behind is the biggest electronic drum kit that you can buy on the market. It's an 11 piece kit and it's so large that I've had to write the numbers down <laughs> so that I don't get it wrong. So we've got a 20 inch kick drum, a 14 inch freestanding snare, an 8, a 10, a 12, a 14 inch tom, three 14 inch crashes, a 14 inch hi-hat and a 16 inch Triple zone ride. This is the exactly. Elise's Strike Pro Special Edition. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you take? This is bigger than my acoustic kit. This is this is way <laughs> way bigger than the it's kit I play. It's almost obnoxious. Yeah, <laughs> but actually, it's uh, it's incredible. I mean, I feel like I'm behind a massive stadium rock kit. Yes. Yeah. But also, there's a lot of detail going on. You know, this, the tom sizes are all the same that I'd play on an acoustic kit. You've got this, you know, the snare drum stands. The fact that I can use my own hardware with it. I can use my own bass drum yeah. pedal and hi hat stand. I've got three crashes. <laughs> uh, massive, you know, footprint as well. The ride symbol. Um, we even started on the model. Yet. Oh yeah, um, I mean this kit is so big that we've actually had to put an extra camera in to get <laughs> everything involved yeah. with it. I mean, as you, as you mentioned, it's bigger than your acoustic kit. 
Um, I think that's something that's very important about this. Like, as I say, it's the biggest electronic drum kit that you can buy on the market right now. And some people might think that that's a bit much, but the creativity and options that you have with a two up, a two down, all the crashes and everything like that, it really allows you to, you know, open up your playing style. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this isn't just for, you know, somebody who wants to replicate the full size of their acoustic kit. This is if somebody wants to get really creative with the drums, who's passionate about drums, because there's so many options we can do. They're all dual zone triggers, so not only can I assign these to drums, but I can assign these to, you know, different melodic effects on, on the rims as well and create completely different percussion instruments than yeah. just an acoustic kit. That, and it looks like it belongs on the stage at an arena, which is <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I mean, you know, alongside the obviously huge drums, you know, the shells themselves, you've got this fantastic red sparkle finish on it, which, you know, it wouldn't go amiss on mm. a massive stage. You know, if you're playing like Leeds First Direct Arena, you can <laughs> see it from the top, you know, and that kind of thing. But not only is it, you know, such a massive kit, but it's also powered by the Elise's Strike module, which in of itself is just a fantastic piece of hardware. So like, just straight off the bat, there are 45,000 WAV files <laughs> in this that make about 18,000 instrument sounds in there. The amount of technology and sampling that's gone into these into these sounds is more than Elise have ever done, and it really shows when you're playing it. Yeah, absolutely, and it's not just like one sound per pad. It's Each pad has multiple WAV files to sort of blend together as I hit louder and quieter, which gives me a really expressive and realistic sounding drum um, and cymbals, of course. Um, you can, as I play louder, the, the WAVs change to sample, you know, louder instruments, and as I play quieter, the same is there. Um, and yeah, the module itself, packed with loads of different sounds, it's really intuitive and it's really easy to use. And yeah, I think any professional would get a lot out of this. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, there's there are 136 kits that are, you know, compromised of all these sounds. Um, but the adjustability that you have on top of the module immediately, so, you know, you can't miss the giant 4.3-inch uh, color display, mm. which shows you your kit. You can't miss that giant knob, which is easy to control and go through kits. You cannot miss those analog faders there. That, to me, is a massive part of it because if you're playing live and you know you just want to change something on the fly you don't have to jump through a million menus it's just there intuitive yep i'll just move that up i want the kick a bit louder it's there snare down a bit easy as you want absolutely yeah having an onboard mixer is really useful if i'm playing live i can adjust these as i'm playing i can keep playing but our snare's too quiet turn that up kick drums too loud turn that down but also with that, you've got this separate out on the back, so I can adjust my mix here while giving a separate mix to my sound engineer. Yeah. It's, you know, it's it's nice to be in control. Yeah, 100%. And, you know, as you say, there's, separate, there's 10 separate outs which give the sound engineer probably the easiest setup of a drum kit <laughs> <he's, laughs> yeah. they've had in a long time. You know, so it's not only a live, like, great for live, but also for recording as well. Definitely, yeah. Um, and just more on the module, it's it's very, you know, it's easy to use. As you go through the different sections, you can see a visual representation of the mixer there. Um, there's, well, we haven't mentioned yet, but there is sampling available yeah, on this. We'll yeah. get that in a sec. You know, all, all of my utilities and parameters are in there and they're easy to use as well. If I'm loading any of the internal songs or using with DAW, I've got mm -hmm. this great transport control. And um, getting around it is, um, you know, Pretty good. I've got, you know, as you say, the big screen there. I can see every element as I play, mm. and um, get straight back to it there. Put my headphones in the front, and I'm Which good to go. Which is handy to have, you know, yeah. so you're not trailing everything around the back. So you mentioned sampling. The difference between this module and the previous module is the previous module could only upload one WAV file. This you can upload dual layer WAVs. So you know, if you go and sample, as the previously mentioned, really nice Ludwig kit that you don't want to lug <laughs> around anymore. It's not much of a compromise with a massive kit like this, yeah. but <laughs> if you want to make sure you've got that in the module, you can dual layer that so you've got even more texture to your sound. Um, you know, alongside, as, as you mentioned there, you've got your WAV editor. On there, you've also got multiple effects. So you've got access to EQs, compressions, reverbs, um, as well as kind of like another couple filter effects, which is quite yeah. cool. Um, and then you've also got your actual trigger response. 
So you can really go in and really mess with every single bit of this kit to really personalize it and make it yours. I can change pretty much every part of the kit how I want it to respond. I can change, you know, the the velocity curves of each pads. I can change how the triggers respond. I can change the velocity, the sensitivity. And yeah, with, with the samples, it's amazing. I can use the internal sounds and then layer my own sounds on top. And they don't just have to be percussion sounds. They can yeah. be loops, bass lines, you know, hits. So, you know, it can create an instrument that is not just drums. It's like almost like a one band band thing at times. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, on stage, it's going to make you sound huge. But there's so many studio applications as well, which you've yeah. just sort of briefly gone into there. So yeah. I'm pretty impressed with this module. I'm yeah, the module is so powerful and all the sounds that come in it are so layered and textured and like you can really tell how much craft and work has gone into this. Um, and I genuinely think, you know, it, you know, some people might think that it's a bit, oh, you're overcompensating with too mm. many, with too many drums and stuff like that. But what this kit gives you, in my opinion, is one of the most diverse electronic platforms available right now. It gives you a fantastic MIDI platform if you want to use it like that. It gives you an incredible creative outlet with the with the uh, module, and overall, I think mean, it looks great. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it looks great as well. So yeah, it's an absolutely fantastic bit of gear, and fully worth the investment in my opinion. I'd have to agree with you there, Adam. <laughs> Yeah, we've had a great time playing this kit. I mean, setting it up was fun in itself. Just like, yeah. getting this massive kit all set up was fun. And then playing it as well. Um, all of it comes together in a really good sounding, and good feeling kit. And I feel like, you know, this is for a drummer who loves drums. 100%. Wants to, wants to get fully involved. But with all the, um, you know, usability and benefits of electric kits right there. Yeah. So yeah, without, big without fan them. of this kit. Yeah, I, I think, you know, if anything, today's video has kind of proven that no matter what you want, Alesis has something to cover it. Um, and the technology's there, the hardware's there, and it's such a fantastic leap and progression. And I personally can't wait to see what is next, hopefully. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been Adam. This has been Laurie. Thank you for checking out the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, give it a like, give it a comment, let us know if there's anything else that we should be checking out. And yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.